hello traders and welcome to another video review today is tuesday last day of april 2024 let's find out what's going on on the economic calendar today it looks like the calendar will be busy because it's the last day of the april as you can see and uh, some sort of the data are released very very often in the last uh, day of the month so what do we have here overnight data japan australia new zealand and china japan industrial production retail sales and jobs applications ratio mixed bag of data industrial production beats the expectations significantly forecast was 3.4 percent actual number was 3.8 percent some nice data from the uh, japan retail sales completely blew it off down from 4.7 to 1.2 uh, private uh, sector credit um, it decreased to 0.3% in Australia and retail sales are even down uh, lower from 0.2% to minus 0.4%. Manufacturing PMI data from China beats the expectations of 50.3 with the actual number of 50.4 which is still below the last month manufacturing PMI that was release at 50.8 non-manufacturing pmi down from 53 to 51.2 french gdp uh, is up from 0.8 percent to 1.1 percent and german retail sales are uh, up from minus 1.8 to 1.8 percent we are still waiting for the french uh, cpi which is scheduled for release at quarter to nine and then nine o'clock we got the KOF leading indicators from Switzerland together with the Spanish GDP and um, at uh, 5 to 10 we got uh, German GDP um, and uh, German unemployment rate and unemployment change the German GDP is expected to increase from minus 0.3 to 0.1 percent so any data better than 0.1 percent will lift the euro a little bit higher um, Italian CPI at 11 o'clock euro zone CPI is scheduled for release at 11 o'clock together with the eurozone gdp the cpi is expe expected to stay at the same level of 2.4 percent and the gdp is expected to increase from 0.1 percent to 0.2 uh, percent uh, then during the um, um, new york session we got employment cost index from the uh, us then we have the gdp from canada at half past two then we got the hpi composite uh, from the uh, us of course at three o'clock then at um, quarter to four we got chicago pmi and uh, exactly at four o'clock we, uh, we got the scheduled release of the cb consumer confidence the key event for the new york session uh, seven o'clock we got the uh, german buba balz uh, to give a speech at half past ten we got api crude oil stock uh, release from the us and at the end of the day at 11 o'clock pm from the um, uh, new zealand we got the reserve bank of new zealand financial stability report so plenty of data today especially during the asian session and um, this data of course were released already and during the um, london session gdp and cpi in the eye of the all of the trader right now in the focus on the all of the traders during the london session so let's switch to the chart now and let's take a look at the euro dollar Plenty of the things can happen today of the euro dollar, but ahead of the data release, as you can see, the euro dollar is coming uh, is coming off the um, uh, let's say the levels above the um, supply zone. The local high was made at 1.0753, and then there was this this kind of an event here that went straight on. But that's that's completely off the table right now uh, and we are consolidating between these uh, two levels here 1.0749 the local low is 1.06.90 so we back into this um, uh, it, it used to be supply zone now it's kind of a demand zone but uh, it looks like the market to go lower wants to break below the level of 50 on the rsi so leave the positive territory and enter the negative territory which means room to the downside will be penetrated room to the downside will be penetrated the local uh, uh, supports is 1.0656 and then the key swing low at 1.06 so the outlook for the euro dollar is looking bearish unless the the uh, data release will lift it immediately and then we need to wait what the market will actually do with this data please notice that um, the market is still trading below this nice orange uh, trend line 
So that was the euro dollar. Let's find out what's going on on the cable. The cable, as you can see, it broke above this uh, trend line. Let me just investigate further. So we lift um, from the, the lows of 1.2297 towards the local high. It, it was made at the level of, let me just 1.2568. Now um, the market is testing this this trend line after the breakout. It's the momentum is still cool, well positive, but not that strong. Only 56 points, and it's pointing downwards. So plenty of room to the downside. However, um, the um, uh, the breakout above the uh, um, trend line might help. Nevertheless, if we break below the level of 50 on the RSI, so that would correspond below. Uh, 50 or 100 periods moving average on the four hour chart below this trend line and some somewhere around the uh, technical support located at 1.2483. Any breakout below opens the road here. There's a room here on the uh, on the RSI. There's plenty of room here uh, on the um, on the chart as well. And it looks like this uh, this movements here, these movements like this correction and this correction are very similar. So uh, you, you all can see uh, what's happened after the correction, very big reversal and new low. Correction, very big reversal and new low. That's the, that's the plan, unless we will see nice spike to the upside after the test of the trend line. Then the outlook remains uh, bullish in the short term, but the momentum doesn't show it just yet. We got plenty of data from the, uh, from the uh, let's say, uh, Eurozone, but we need to take a look at the Japanese yen. What's happened on the Japanese yen? Let me just uh, take a look here. As you can see, uh, Japanese yen tested this. Uh, let me just remove the uh, the advance uh, that we spoke about yesterday. The Japanese yen moved uh, quite significantly uh, higher towards the level of 160. There was the Bank of Japan uh, assumed intervention. We tested the technical support at 154.76 and the market is trying to break above the 50 periods moving average on the, uh, on the four hour uh, time frame. However, well, it's not um, apparently uh, working. Right now, we, do, we are barely above this uh, level. The market bounced from the level of 15, the neutral level on the RSI. The momentum is positive, 57 points, so not that strong. So if we start to consolidate around here and then move lower, we can see, we can um, uh, um, uh, expect the test of the 154.82 again. Right, so please stay uh, stay focused. In that situation, uh, when this market is uh, is kind of a moving uh, downward. Let's take a look what is the crude oil uh, doing. As you can see, this is for our chart. We recently uh, introduced this trend line. Let me just move a little bit higher. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. I want this trend line to move it. There you go. So as you can see, the market perfectly respects this trend line. Um, the recent uh, local technical support was violated, so let me just attach this technical support to here. The next technical support is um, 82, $82 per barrel, and the price of the, the crude oil is going uh, is going down, is going lower um, towards this uh, level. Uh, that's the low of the 25th of the April. Very strong technical support at 80.78, and the lower level is 80.31. So as long as we trade above this very strong technical support, the outlook remains uh, slightly bullish in the in the medium term. But uh, the short term outlook, um, if there is a breakout below 82.1, uh, the short term outlook is uh, still bearish. There is a room to the downside here. There is a room to the downside here. If there is increased bearish pressure, we should see more downside on the crude oil very very soon. And last but not least, what is the uh, Bitcoin doing? Uh, as you can see, uh, the Bitcoin market bounced from the uh, level of uh, 50, uh, sorry, 61,769, uh, and is trying to break above the level of uh, 50 on the RSI, but it did it, but returned very, very smoothly back towards this level. As we can see, there is a bearish engulfing pattern at the uh, technical resistance. Let me just uh, change the color. This is the technical resistance, 64,476. 
and then there is a 100 periods moving average a little bit above this level so right now bullish bounce was capped here and we still expect this market to penetrate this demand zone sooner or later the demand zone is located between um, as you can see this uh, two levels 60,761 and 59,068 uh, dollars so the outlook remains uh, bearish um, and uh, we just wait for the uh, for another breakout to the downside unless there is a big spike to the upside towards sixty-seven thousand dollars again so then this local swing high might be uh, challenged uh, by the bulls and in case of a breakout higher uh, the scenario the downside scenario will be uh, invalidated that's everything from me for today thank you very much for watching this analysis and i hope i see you guys next time take care and bye bye